What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, it's been a while since I did a, a video with this particular sponsorship and this sponsorship has been around for the longest time. And they've been great to me. So, I will show you who they are real quick and you guys probably already know who they are. Dang it's bright. Boom. Uh, hold on. Top label is a long time sponsorship of mine. They've been super great place on the yeah, they've been a great sponsorship of mine. I've not ordered anything from them for a while. That's where I got my social media stickers on my car. So I went ahead and bought my girlfriend hers, and that's her Instagram. First, we gotta wash this thing first, but they hooked me up with a couple of stickers and a brand new squeegee. So yeah, they definitely treat uh, their customers really well. So if you want any social media decals, go to Top Label, and they're also on Instagram, so go follow them up. Both Angel and Reaper both need clean. So I'm gonna start off with Angel since she's already sitting here, and I don't know what that is, but yeah, she's dirty, the wheels are dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash her up real quick. Got all the cleaning supplies ready. So let's go ahead and wash them up. Already got both the Mustangs washed up. So I think I am ready to add her decals. Instagram stickers are on and the other side was a pain, but this one actually went on pretty easy because I had to use rubbing alcohol So if you guys are adding these be sure to use the rubbing alcohol because you don't know if there's Rain-X on there or not And that's what was on here. Rain-X actually messed me up on the other side Alrighty, a lot of you guys asked for a tutorial on how to do light painting. That's what this video is actually about But um got my buddy out here with his uh, charger They just traded in and I actually took pictures of his old charger It was a v6, but he finally upgraded to a scat pack and this thing's actually pretty dope and honestly it sounds really good for the stock exhaust. We'll get some uh, exhaust clips uh, here soon but right now we're going to do some light painting. I don't think those lights over there will mess me up too much but I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Alright so since some of you guys want to know the settings, first you have to definitely be in manual mode where everything is manual. Okay so right now my shutter speed, this wheel I'm using an A6000 but um, sorry it's hard to hurt a light but this wheel right here you have to turn and adjust to I think it's like negative 20 is what I used uh, last time. And uh, usually I'm running my ISO at 200 right now. So I ran my lens cap on. So I'm going to shoot like this. I'm going to see what it looks like. I've never shot a car with their headlights actually on. But we're going to see how it turns out the way it is now. Alrighty, so got a few test shots. Some of them turned out pretty rough because I don't have the same light that I used last time. So they were kind of rough. But this one's actually the best one so far. Of course, I'll show them at the end of the video like I did in my last video. But you can see some of them got them lines there that I didn't want. But we're about to do some more at a different position. All right, guys, uh, like I said, we're doing a different angle. So we're going to test it out. Okay, so here's what the one looks like. Got two of them in. That's the moon. I keep going to it that way, but there's that. There's that. Sweet. Alrighty, shooting is done for now. And like I said, that was a lot of trial and error. Been here for like an hour uh, messing with it. So we're heading out now. He's about to head out, then I'm going to head out. That sounds really good for a factory exhaust. Alrighty, so I'm about to actually go buy a uh, new light uh, for myself. I was borrowing my girlfriend's dad's light, and for the way, the light uh, messed me up because, uh, uh, well, the back of the light was illuminating light, so that's kind of messing me up, as you can tell in the photos I just showed. But I'm using my shutter speed at 20. That means 20 seconds. Um, you can go down to like 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, all the way up to 30. And... My shutter speed is at, I, not my shutter speed, my exposure was at 4.5 and I had my ISO at um, 120 to uh, 300. That's like the, one of the best I've had. But I'm not no professional photographer, so if you're an actual professional, don't be judging me. I'm still learning, but yeah. I already picked up this nice light. If it turned on, oh, that's bright. It's a thousand lumens apparently, so I think this will quietly do the trick. Uh, I might do some more light painting at my house uh, later tonight after I get home. 
But yeah, it's a nice little light. I can use it for other things too. I mean, that part of light sucks for some reason, but yeah, it's not too bad. It's even got magnets on it. All right, just made it back to my house. It is pitch dark out. I'm gonna turn off some of these lights. So, uh, of course, I'm gonna try this new light out. I know it's not like the perfect backdrop, but we're just gonna test out the new light and see how it works with the camera and play around with the settings. All right, I'm gonna set my uh, camera up on the V6 to point towards Reaper and I'm gonna do some light painting and see how she turns out. It might not turn out too bad. But like I said, the backdrop is kind of boring, but right now, like I said, I'm just testing out this lane. It's pretty bright, so I think it's going to work out pretty good. Dang, picking this up a day later. I was going to record earlier, but storms actually got pretty bad. I actually kind of saw a tornado. Literally, I'm not even kidding. It was an actual tornado, but it was way far away. Um go that way and they actually took down a house apparently I saw on Facebook it was pretty wicked but yeah we got to film my buddy's challenger and I hope my video was informative on how to light pan though some of you guys are probably messaging and commenting uh, wanting to learn and wanting, uh, wanting to know how I did those photos in my car last week so there you guys go I um, gave my best I'm not the best at photography still I'm still learning the basics of the camera so I'm not like too familiar with how to work ISO 100% we're like um, exposure but I do know shutter speed now somewhat I mean I know shutter speed for light painting but I don't know for like other like roller shots I don't know I'm still learning so I'm gonna try to learn as much as I can uh, this summer so I can get some awesome shots this year alrighty guys so that's gonna be the end of this video I uh, hope you enjoyed it I hope I like I said I helped you out and sorry lighting is pretty poor right now but guys if you want to see more photography and videography on this channel please let me know down in the comments and leave a like um i'm a big photography geek i'm a big camera geek obviously i'm into youtube and all this stuff and cars are my of course my other thing obviously alrighty guys i know the video has been a little bit boring but i promise you they're going to get exciting soon so make sure you like comment subscribe and we'll see what happens this year it's going to be a lot better than last year i can tell you that